one of the most overwhelming feelings in art and just in life in general is feeling like I can do it all. You know, like I'm not just a good singer, like I'm good at other things as well, but it's like, you have to make room for the moving pieces or else you're never going to get anywhere. Like, I mean, obviously there's those cases like Russ or J. Cole who like, they pretty much do it all by themselves. But like for a lot of people, it's like, there's people out there that they want to play the guitar for the rest of their life or they want to play the keys for the rest of their life and bring in my vision, the way I want my art to be is like a beautiful array of like musicians that is like making my work come to life. You know, like I have the visual aspect and I know what I want and the ending goal but it, it takes a lot of people to make that happen, at least the scale, like when I think about it, like later on in life or where I'm hoping to go. So I think it was just me kind of accepting, like you can't do it all, even though you want to. <laughs> and just kind of listening to other people's expertise and meeting in the middle sometimes, but also sometimes finding when it's time to put my foot down and be like, okay, no, we're kind of getting carried away. Like, this is where I want, you know what I mean? Like a lot of times people will try to, you know, make my voice sound pop. They'll try to put on a bunch of, and I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. I want it to be me. You know, my voice is deep. I have a graspy voice. It's just how it is. <laughs> so I think it's going to come out August 14th. So it's only two weeks. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's, I've, I like it more than Dark Soul. Dark Soul's great, but literally I'm like super excited. It's called Lost in California. Um, it's it's freaking amazing. It's coming out with a music video that we filmed in like one of the closed down strip clubs in Austin. So it was like pretty tight. Um, yeah, but, but then as far as Dark Soul goes, um, so the song started out writing it in a garage with my friend Jonathan Terrell. And then the song like evolved from there. I met Justin and kind of gave him, I was like, I want like country disco cactus, like, but I want it to slap. I want it to be really good. Like I want people to be able to dance to this tune. I love making people dance. Seeing people dance and laugh was like my two favorite things. It like makes me realize I'm like doing something right. <laughs> so once the song was done, I pushed that how out like for South by Southwest. And then South by Southwest got canceled. So that was like a big bummer, but I just kind of stuck to my guns with wanting to do the music video. A lot of people told me no, they were like, this isn't gonna work. Coronavirus, like you're, you're, you're trying to go too fast, like this, this and this. And I was like, okay, pump the brakes a little bit and really focused on the creative. And I wrote like, did like two different creatives. Then I met this, uh, my friend Daniel Sahad, who introduced me to the production company here in Austin called Onion Creek Productions. And the director was like, you know, we're gonna have to take a lot of precautionary measures um, to get this done, but if we can get a small enough crew and you're down to get blood tested for the coronavirus to make sure you don't have it, then we can do it. And I was like, okay, cool. So we did the thing, it, caught, it was two days of filming. It was a lot, but it was one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. And I was like, this is what I wanna do forever. Like, this is so fun. Um, and I, I think everybody that was on the team felt that way. It was like, just, I don't know, just having so long being like cooped up and then being able to like create a piece of art in this like beautiful setting with all these details. Like it just, it felt so good. <laughs> for me, Lost in California is really close to me because I've been working on that song for like what feels like a million years, but it's been like two, but I've been working on it. And I think during the time of the song, is when I was trying to find like a producer. I was really trying hard and met with all these different people. And you know, it's like you spend all this time and then your files just never get sent or like this, this and this, and it just like wasn't working out. And I was, all these promises were being made to me in California as well. I would work with all these different people and nothing would ever deliver. And so just during the song, there was just this feeling of like, I'm lost, man. Like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna keep pushing forward because I know it's gonna be beautiful in the end. I just have to keep pushing forward. And that's just what the song really means to me. Once we got it out and done, I was like, it was exactly what I wanted in every aspect. It was, I changed it until the literally the last mass, like the last moment it was being changed. Um, and I think that I want, I want other people to kind of like, know that and the song and feel that like you know sometimes you can feel like literally have floating along in life and you have no freaking purpose but at the end of the day you just have to like stay true to yourself and you know be a decent person and it'll probably turn out okay <laughs> just i mean stream dark soul um uh, you know 
pre-save Austin, California, stream the Dark Soul music video if you haven't checked it out. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, Kitty Cohen on YouTube. That's basically stream, stream Dark Soul music video. 